I grew up in North Queensland and I spent most of my childhood around the Tully area. As a rainforest Aborigine, I, I love the rainforest. I live in the southeastern tablelands where there's um, lots of rain and lots of green, and I love it. I'm Lewis Peachy, I'm a senior medical officer at Athlone District Hospital. So I went to Newcastle University. I did my five years of degree down in, in Newcastle. It was utterly surreal, totally surreal. So pre-referendum, Aboriginal kids back in those days, if we could read the labels to stack the shelves at Coles, then we're getting a white collar job, you know. That's, uh, that was about as good as it got. I think for me, the other thing is that as an Aboriginal man, I understood the culture of medicine. If you look at the Hippocratic Oath, it describes what in my culture we would call the uncle-nephew relationship. Um, that the old guys teach the young guys, and you know, there's a circle of knowledge that goes in around and you, you pass that knowledge to the, next, to the next keeper of knowledge as you should. And I understood the culture of medicine. I, I, I got how it worked, it made sense to me. Greater Atherton in the order of about 18,000 people. The area that we service at Atherton Hospital is about 25,000 people. As rural doctors, I think one of the things that makes us a little bit different from our metropolitan counterparts is we live among the people that we serve. Obviously, out in the country where I live, um, we're it. And so, as well as having those, those core generalist skills, the more diversity of skill sets that you have, we're gonna make sure that the patients um, are best supported and looked after. If you're going into rural practice, I think you should do an advanced skill placement in something. It doesn't necessarily need to be a, a procedural skill, but I think you need to bring something extra to the table. What attracted me particularly to anaesthetics is that somebody will come in, in an extreme situation and can I keep them alive long enough? You do your AST because honestly, it's where the magic is. I love a lot of the stuff that we do in, in rural medicine. From my point of view as a rural generalist with anaesthetics, having that baby, you know, that there's the cesarean section that's going on and being able to have that lady awake while, while her baby comes out, there's magic in that. Having, you know, old Mrs Smith who's now fractured a hip and we've got to send her a long way away and we know that she's going to be in pain because of that fractured hip but I can pop in a, a, a fascially arca block and a bit of a tube and, and, and start some local anaesthetic and know that she's going to travel now from here to Cairns and she is going to be genuinely pain free. And so very, very quickly and effectively, you can do something that just gives people their lives back. And it's, it's, in, it's incredibly rewarding. As doctors, we have this incredibly privileged part of the society that we live in. The flip side of that privilege is responsibility. And I think if you're going to work in a rural area, as well as bringing a standard skill set, I think you need to bring something else to that community. The people will know that they're getting something special, they'll know that. It gets appreciated in the community and I don't think there's any going past that.